guys, it's Pia here and welcome to another one of my face-off challenge videos. Once again, I need to apologize that this is coming out so late, but I promise that I'm going to finish this project and I'm going to try to do it within a couple of months after the finale of face-off has aired. Probably a little bit earlier, but um, yeah, I'm definitely, definitely going to make customs based on all the challenges in the current season of face-off, so please, uh, please believe me when I say that. <laughs> So this video is actually centered around episode 4, which aired ages ago. Uh, so I'm going to just refresh your memory and tell you what the challenge was in Face Off. By the way, if you don't know what Face Off is, um, it is a series that airs on sci-fi every Tuesday and uh, there are special effects makeup artists that make characters each week based on certain challenges and it's very very cool. They sculpt and they paint much like I do and um, their creations are always really inspiring and really cool and really creative so I can highly recommend it to anyone. Who is interested in watching a reality TV competition where you actually get really inspired watching it. So anyway, uh, <laughs> back to the challenge. Um, in the fourth episode of Face Off this season, the makeup artists were asked to create uh, characters which were snow queens and they were supposed to be based on certain snowflake patterns. Now I decided not to incorporate that because I've made so many Snow Queen customs in the past and most of them have snowflakes on their heads and I didn't want to make something that was totally similar to everything that I've done so far. So instead what I did was <laughs> I actually had a custom that was already sculpted a little bit and I looked at it and I thought Hmm, this could actually make a really really cute Snow Queen. Um, I'm not going to lie, I wasn't super inspired for this, uh, that's why I didn't start it from scratch, that's why I just chose one of my customs that I had for another project, uh, which I never finished. <laughs> but yeah, I just took this one and I gave her a little crown using gems, and I gave her this fluffy thing around her neck to make her look kind of regal, at least in my opinion. And um, I didn't want her to just be very pretty and snowflakey and... Um, <laughs> I don't really know how to describe it, but with this one I just wanted her to look a little bit more strong and regal and I hope that it shows. So yeah, here is the custom and this is my little Snow Queen. Ta-da! So as you can see, I used very pale colors for this one. Um, I've used a metallic silver on her hair and on her fluff on the ears. And I used some gems that I incorporated in this sort of crown thing. She has this fluff going around her, which is just supposed to make her look all warm and fluffy. And because these newer LPS have holes in them, I actually decided to cover some of those holes with more gems. And uh, I also painted a little bit of silver around them, so they kind of look like some sort of ice crystals. I don't really know if it makes any sense, but I thought that it looked cool and I hope that you guys think so too. If you don't, that's also totally fine. Um, it's a little bit strange looking, but... I like it. And as for the colors, I just wanted her to be really pale and pretty, but um, yeah. <laughs> I don't really know what else to say other than that I just thought that it would look really cool to have a super pale custom with this very dramatic black in the eyes and this dark grey here. And one of my favorite uh, details are these little buttons um, that are supposed to be wood colored here and I hope that you can see them. So that's actually all I had to say about this custom and the fourth episode of Face Off. Um, yeah, I hope that you guys are looking forward to seeing the next one. I've already finished the custom, so that video will hopefully come up a lot sooner than this one did. Um, so yeah, in that one I've made a little creature which is a plant-animal hybrid, so I hope that you guys are looking forward to that one. It's very different from what I normally paint, so I hope that you are interested in seeing that one, and yeah. That's all I had to say for this video, thank you so much for watching, and see you again soon! Bye!